Hey everybody, Paperclip here again. We're going to be playing some more EU4 today as Ireland in the Irish Conquest of the British Isles where we are just about to be able to declare war on England yet again. We're going to do a two-pronged one. We're going to declare war on England and then immediately after declare war on Northumberland. But we're going to bring France in in the war against England so we can't join Northumberland in our conquest of him. It's foolproof. It's foolproof. Nothing could ever go wrong. Doo -doo. Sweet. So, what are we at? Like, maybe 50? 50, 52% religious unity. Holy crap. And we have two active cardinals as well. I'm going to send a guy to improve relations with the Pope. Just top off his relations of us. Alright, so we can officially declare war. What I'm going to do is bring in France. It's going to be against Mantua, Nuremberg, Munster, and Alsace. Maybe we'll bring in both France and Scotland. Nah, for now, just France. And yeah, we'll do it over Derbyshire. That'll be fine. Go. And now, we have to wait one month before we can start the other war. I'm going to quickly just full siege everything here. There we go. All right, next on the agenda. Declare war on Northumberland. France cannot join because he's fighting in a war on the same side as us. Genoa is in a war, so it's only going to be Liege. Uh, we we'll do so superiority. Go and attack. Where is he retreating to? Maybe up here? He's probably going up to Sutherland. It's actually going all the way up here, wow. Do not know why he chose to go all the way up there, but whatever. There we go. All right. So now quickly while there's nobody nearby, group these guys up. Probably should get a couple more of them. We'll go with 10 transports. I think 10 transports is a pretty good number. England's down here. He does still have Argentine as a colony. He's not really building it up anymore, though. Because he no longer has the money to do so. He's also got these down here. He's also got these over here. That one. He's got these, he's got this one over here as well. He apparently has two colonies down here. So he does have enough to be doing colonies and stuff. 
How about her? Yeah, they're probably gonna spawn. How about up here? They might spawn. How close is this? Oh well, when that one's done, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna siege those colonies. Just for some extra war score. How many troops does England have? 7, 8, 9, 10 out of 12. He has 13,000 troops somewhere. I don't know where, but they are somewhere. Oh, we can convert another province? Yeah, go ahead and do that. It's going to be mud. That is right there. Perfect. I want Yorkshire and all of your money. If you're willing to do that, just let me know. Alright, so next, come on down to Glamorishire. I wonder, can I set these? No, I can't set those as interest to them. What if I set this as like interest to Irish Canada? And this to New Ireland, and that to France. How would that do? I mean, Scotland's over here in Mexico. Who's currently at war with basically everyone over there, so good luck, Scotland. And if from these guys I wanted all of these, it would take quite a bit. We definitely have superior troops. I said I will only accept the peace that I have offered when you're willing to do that we can negotiate until then don't even bother I mean I could send a colony over here Get some extra range and all. Might not be a bad idea. They definitely have the range for it. And this one's going to be done very soon. I might actually do that. I might actually do that. Because otherwise I would have to do something like request naval access from somebody else down here. Ah, oh, Tupinamba would give us fleet basing rights. 0.5 ducats each month. Yeah, we will definitely do that. Now that means... Wait until the end of the month. Yep, 
This whole coastline is no longer attrition for us. What I want to do is you guys. How much money do we have? I think we have enough to make this work. You know what? For now, just keep protecting trade. That'll be fine. I need more, more of these. We'll grab three more. Four more. It'll take a little bit to build them, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. You're getting close. You're probably nowhere near. Nope. Nobles demand recompensation. We ignore you. Nepe. Um, how about get out of there? Let them deal with it. I don't know why they chose to spawn there. We literally just got that colony, and like the next day, rebels spawn there. We have a new mission, rival of our rival. Lee's opinion of Ireland is at least 100. Protect against Brabant. Have at least 35 troops. Greater Popper Fleet. And we'll go protect against Brabant. So you only need two more troops for that. So bam, bam. Here we go. That'll be the mission. You guys are going to come up here and kill the pretender rebels. Wait, actually, what kind of rebel do you guys have? A 244 for a 332. This guy's like a 242. I don't think it's worth breaking our country and everything for that. Nope. Nope. You willing to accept what we want to offer? Nope. Okay, we'll keep doing it then. How about you? You're slowly getting there, but I really need to control your capital for this to work. Alright, fine. Build one more infantry. Yes, we will take a royal marriage. He will now accept this. He actually has more money to give us now. Perfect. Awesome. Raise autonomy. You can start coming back down here as well as with both of you guys. You can start coming over to there. can both of these guys as soon as they're done and then as soon as this one's done he can go down there too there we go fourteen ships I would like you to come over here. Sweet, no attrition for any of them. You guys can all group up. You can attach. You guys can come down here.
Hostile sieges. I mean, I could bring Scotland in. I don't really think it's necessary, though. Improve Malie's opinion of us. Why not? Are you Western? You are Malie. Good job. Let's improve relations. things. Scottish Mexico is not doing well. I would love for you guys to go and attack that. Building a marketplace. You don't really look like you're building anything. That thing will be done soon. Yorkshire. Holy crap. 424. Why so much? Why? Local nobility plus 50%, corruption, war exhaustion. What do you mean by local nobility? Because this should be more like 300 or less. That local nobility thing is the only thing that's really screwing with it. I don't know what that means. There's no way they could have given this province to the nobility because it's their only province. It was their capital. You can't give your capital away. We're just going to gain Diplo power. I don't really care about Aachen's opinion of me. Alright, go ahead and move over to the capital. Bam. Go ahead and kill that guy and then come back. There we go. So England officially, I think, has no army at all. He's 2,000 troops somewhere. Where, I don't know, but he does have them. I would love to do this, but apparently I can't, because apparently this core is, like, outrageously expensive for reasons unbeknownst to me. No, monster, we're gonna use you as extra war score. already making 30% off them. Should I do it or should I just gain some monarch points? 30% is pretty high tariff. Oh, 
Fine. I'm not going any higher though. That's over a third tariff. One third of everything they go out, they have to pay to us. Well, one third the value of anything they trade out must be paid to us. Sun's worth three, they have to pay us an extra one, so it would cost four instead. At least that's how I understand tariffs work. Alright, so now he will accept that willingly. If I want you to give up these as well. If I ask him to give us Long Bay, he'll do it. money do you have? You have an okay amount. Yes, give me your money as well. There we go. England is no longer in the British Isles at all. He is now down in Brazil. And we can now go ahead and send all of our troops home. Well, damn right they don't consider us a rival. They're too weak. Alright. You guys can come home. Um, go there. That seems like the closest place. As soon as we're not in range, we're gonna cancel this. There we go. Now we have a 55 force limit with a 90 force limit for all of our ships. Bam. It's beautiful. Now let's see. How much trade power do we have? We have 16%, Brabant has 63%. I wonder if we can get the whole, um, he's not out, no. Is he friendly with France? Kind of. I mean, I still definitely think we could probably make something happen. I would like to go to war with somebody like Brabant call France in, go to war with Scotland, not even care about the war with Brabant, but just focus on the war with Scotland. That way France can't defend Scotland. I can force him to break his alliance with France in the process, and then I can work with it from there. So, burgers. You guys can have that. Clergy, you can have that. Nobility, you can have that. Everyone happy? Yep, everyone is happy. And that also raises up to 20% here, which I know is enough to fabricate um, a trade conflict CB. Is this still ridiculously high? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What I'm gonna do instead, I think, wait, let me check this. Yeah, what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna core everything there, core everything there, 
So we're going to record Derbyshire, Norfolk, Essex, and I guess we didn't have enough for Lincolnshire. No, we didn't have enough for Lincolnshire. Well, that get, that'll get rid of uh, 25, 35, 36, 37, 40, 37, 46%. So a little more than half. <coughs> Basically half of our overextension. I don't need to focus military anymore. I would kind of rather focus admin since I got the two admin idea groups. Repay all the loans. Corruption is going up again. So why don't we go ahead and partially defund our army. And spend some more money on reading out corruption. way too much money. Let's go about half. Because once we get some of these cores in and everything, that'll go down. See, it's almost enough to offset our overextension. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is a big freaking group of rebels. Holy crap, that is actually really terrifying. Oh boy, this is not going to be fun. Um, let's go ahead and take out a loan, I guess. Get all those guys together. But you guys come down to Hampshire. I didn't raise autonomy in any of these, did I? Nope. Only in Yorkshire, because I forgot. Well, that'd be part of the problem. Fund the army. You guys can go away in Oxfordshire, just because it's decent defensive terrain. Everyone go head over to Marches. All you guys can do the same. He's got a 2-2, two, two. we got a 2-2. Two, two. We got four maneuver, he has a one maneuver. So we can outmaneuver him. So that is a plus. I'm actually gonna move him up there, and him down there. Damn, I did not mean to move up into him. That sucks. It's actually pretty bad for us. I did not at all mean to move. I wanted to move him. I didn't think he was going to go through the fucking rebels when I moved him, though. So that sucks. That's my fault. I didn't even think that he was going to move that way. Damn. He's going over to Lagine. Go ahead and move a bunch of our troops over there.
I need 16,000 men. That's a lot of people. I actually think I probably should tech up. Just because that's going to give me a slight edge against him. Even though it costs me way more. Do server extension. Yeah, we plan on doing that anyhow. Still got 5,000 men to replenish. Can we please get this converted before he comes over here? Thank you. We can type tech up in Diplo as well. That'll help us with our corruption a little bit. Sweating sickness spreads through Sildara. Mm, take the Diplo. I'm actually going to go down to speed 3 here. Just so whoever he attacks, I can easily reinforce it. We'll be fully reinforced at the end of this month, too in time because he's fully reinforced right now too we still don't have good army traditions so that sucks we can try and make our guy a general he's no better hmm it's quite unfortunate get all you guys to start protecting trade in the North Sea since Scotland is now trying to steal money from us there we go and he's attacking us Go ahead and reinforce. Come on, roll decently, guys. Oh, that was a really bad roll. That was a great roll. That was okay. Uh, I mean, we won. So that's good. Alright, so if I split. Eh, good, you actually pretty evenly split everything. I'm going to move you over to here. I'll move the other guy over to Quinid. That'll get ca captured back on its own due to the fort right there. We just had Protestant zealots or Reform zealots. Ah, oh, I guess stop. That's some shit. I think you have a yeah from every single province. He has a river crossing. Start the attack, and now you go reinforce. This is going to be all of our manpower too, holy shit. It's the first time I've ran out of manpower since I got the quantity ideas. But anyway, there you go, guys. We now fully own most of the British Isles besides the Scottish parts, which will probably be two wars, maybe three. Two wars, we can take it all. First war to try and get him, get France to break his alliance, and then the other war, well, it should be pretty cake. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, bye bye.